The health department says teenage pregnancy has been a worried trend. Now, hundreds of newborns were welcomed into the world on Monday, and the prevalence of teenage pregnancy has once again come under the spotlight. Are we failing to get a handle on this problem? Well, we are joined now uh, for this conversation uh, by child and youth care practitioner Zonke Shazi Shongwane. She is the founder of Ikusas and Gelami. Thank you so much, Zonke, for your time. Uh, you know, I think the question here is what what is the root cause of teenage pre pregnancy in South Africa from what you've seen? From what we have seen, I'd like to greet all the viewers and thank you for the opportunity. Um, what we have seen as uh, child and youth care practitioners is that um, from the word go, when it comes to uh, pregnancy and teaching children about um, sexual reproductive health, most parents are skeptical. We found that most parents say that I would not be able to start that talk with my child. Meanwhile, the, the, the social media is highly sexualizing children. Children are watching material that is getting them ready to be sexually active. They are engaging sexually while parents are still seeing children uh, and while the parents are thinking that children are still young, they might not be engaging in sexual activities. So we uh, have seen that there's a lot of denial um, when it comes to children engaging, e engaging in sexual activities. Most parents say, oh, my child is still young. My child is still watching cartoons. And parents are not aware of the fact that most children who have um, devices such as cell phones or who watch um, uh, computers on the internet cafe, what usually happens is children watch whatever they want unsupervised and they become sexually active early 